we mentioned in a previous video that the loader in the data API is a way for us to trigger a function when a page is mounted. Let's see how this thing works. First of all, I am going to create a new page called user details. And we'll use this endpoint to demonstrate the use of the loader. Now the loader is simply a new property inside the route object. It is a function that takes in one argument, which is an object. And inside the argument, there are two things. The first one is the URL parameter, which in our case, the parameter will be the only one and only user ID that we have inside the path property. And the second one is the instance of the HTTP request called against the current endpoint. At this point, some of you might be thinking, hold on, what is this HTTP request presenting anyway? Wait, wait a minute. Let's step back for a moment and think about this. Imagine we're using a traditional web application where we are using server-side routing. Now, if we want to visit this URL, we have to physically click on a link and the link will send a request to the server and the server will send us back the HTML page. Now, this request argument is meant to be the request sent to the server. However, in our current situation, since we're building an SPA, there's no need for us to send a request to the server, but the loader function will capture the request for us anyway, just in case if we need it. Let's console log out both the parameter and the request and we'll see them for ourselves. Let's go to our browser. If I visit the manage user URL, then we can see inside our console, we have a parameter and a request. The parameter has user ID set to one, which is exactly the same as our URL. And for the request object, it is a get request with the URL the same as our current URL in the browser. All right, these are just the information that we can grab from the loader function. Now, we can do pretty much anything inside the loader function, but the typical use case is for us to fetch our application data from the server using an API and return the result to our component. Whatever we return inside the loader function is accessible inside the component. Just for demonstration, we can return a simple object here. And let's go to our user details component and we'll learn how to get the data returned by the loader. To do that, we'll need to use a hook function called useLoaderData. And now if we console log out the loader data variable, and let's go back to our browser, we can see that it is printing out the exact object that we return inside the loader function. How cool is that? We could also return a HTTP response object inside the loader function. And behind the scene, React Router will automatically convert the response into a JavaScript object to our component. In fact, React Router does provide us a helper function called JSON that will convert any object into a new response object. And if we hover on the function, we can see in the documentation, it is returning us the response type as the end result. Now, if we go back to our browser, we could still see that the user detail components was able to grab the data correctly. All right, it is a good place to stop here. We will continue in the next lesson. Key takeaways for this lesson. The loader function will be triggered when a page is mounted in a DOM. We can only use the loader function only if we're using the data API. In other words, creating the router using the create browser router function. We could return anything inside the loader function and if we decided to return an HTTP response instance, React Router will convert it into a JavaScript object automatically. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you would like to see more content, consider supporting us by becoming a member at my website, Acadia.io. It is similar to Patreon, but in return, you get a lot of premium tutorials and lessons. If you can't become a member, that's totally fine. We are just happy that you are here. We spend a lot of time and energy to produce high quality videos for you. Feel free to check out our other videos on YouTube and if you can leave a thumbs up, you will really make my day. If you subscribe, I would jump for joy and I'll make more videos for you. Thanks for your support and I'll see you next time.